The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Smoke my blood right here. Off in the cut out of everybody way. Peace. Love y'all. My name is Hazmat. We are Hazmat. We got DJ Hazmat. This my motherfucking brother, man. Break it down. Hazmat brought us out. I appreciate that big time. We appreciate that. Put us on the platform. We love that. Hey, go ahead. Go, 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 Hazmat. Go, 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 Hazmat. Go, 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 Hazmat. Y'all hear it. Y'all hear it. Thank you, DJ Hazmat. How do I handle haters? <laughs> uh, I love them. But if they start fucking with the good energy, then we gotta shut that shit down. I think we all battle with the question What is my purpose? Over time, that question changes. What will I leave behind when I'm gone? When you start something, you never really ask yourself, what will I need to sacrifice to achieve this? And from what I've learned, from the legends before me, the mistakes they made, and my God, to navigate this industry. songs completed. The five songs are Call Me When You're Sober. I'm sorry that I got close again. Six 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 on Sixth Street. I could never stay the same. Drinking out the bottle. I was drinking out the bottle, but it's not in there yet. Drunk all over the cares. I know I got a problem. And then we got three more songs after that. I still have to record. Distracting myself from all my pain and from all my fuck all this pain and fuck all this sadness. Turn up the music alone in my room screaming. Alone in my room screaming. Fuck all this pain and fuck all this sadness. 
I have two of them written, I just have one left to write too. But yeah, there's eight songs on the project. Not again, guess we doing this tonight, yeah. Okay, new album on the way, baby. Cheers to that, boy. So as I was wrapping up the Double Bake album, I just came across these like three beats in like two or three producers. I got really inspired. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do a whole project like this, like a whole fucking punk rock album type shit. And so all those ended up in a playlist, like eight beats. I was just sitting on them for probably about a couple months. Finally actually started writing to it and moving forward with the process of the album. And then MGK went on his tour. The first tour date was in Austin, Texas at the at the Moody Center. So we went to that. And that was freaking incredible. He came down in a pink helicopter. Ian Dior was there, Black Bear was there. It was an incredible time. I was like heavy inspired off that shit and like seeing what years of work can do. Yeah, it's a whole different vibe for me, honestly. Like I've been breaking out my box. I've been trying new things with my voice. Okay, yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it sounds whack as fuck. I didn't text back today. I didn't text back today. And then the other times I'm like, oh shit, this is fucking tight. Can't pick up the phone, depression is still haunting me. I'm sleeping in again when I wake up, I feel I'm there, yeah. I can't pick up the phone, depression is still haunting me. I'm sleeping in But it all works out like it's fucking solid. Just learning shit about my voice and how to control it and ways to keep the level the same while using breath control and everything, it's, it's crucial. But yeah, we're grinding. It's basically just me in the studio. I'm recording, mixing, mastering, all my own stuff. We're here at the studio. It's mixing and mastering today, boy, we not recording. I like shoot my own videos, promos, these vlogs and everything, editing it all. So it's all coming down on me. I don't have nobody behind me telling me, hey, you gotta get this done by this time. I need masters by this time. I need to post the single by this time. I ain't got none of that. I'm doing this myself, motivating myself, like setting my own goals. I'm the one responsible. I'm the one that gets the consequences and Pretty much nobody sees that behind the, the scenes type shit. Like, especially with these underground artists that are trying to make it, like like grinding. They're holding themselves accountable to shit. They ain't got nobody above them telling you, hey, this is what you gotta do. So that's all studying people before you and applying it to what you do now. But yeah, it's just me in the studio grinding it out. I'll be doing seven, eight hour fucking sessions and shit. Hey, we vlogging in the studio. It's fucking 3 a.m. We working. What you doing? You probably sleeping, bitch. Get your ass up, work time. Wake up. I gotta get back to the mix a little bit later. My ears are kinda stressed right now. Um, but yeah, I've been in here since about 1.30 a.m. Now it's 7.30 a.m. right now. Just finishing up, second song that I was recording tonight. Um, forgot what it was called already. My mind is fucking, man, my brain hurts. Fucking voice hurts. It was fucking dark when I got here. Yeah, it's fucking bright, shit. Oh, she don't want a man. That's what it was called. I'll bring like a fucking bottle. I'll bring some blunts, bring some nicotine. You already know. We're in Austin, Texas, and it's been 104 and 113 all this week. And there's the AC went out at the studio. Still hot as fuck in this bitch got fans going back here. Hey, just so you know I ain't lying. Check out the fucking temp. Fucking 88 degrees. So it's like fuck. 
it's been 90 plus consistently inside the fucking studio that's with all the equipment still like pumping out fucking heat and everything i was in the, there back to back for two days two six hour sessions both days i was drenched in fucking sweat like dedicated to this shit for real i love it like i wouldn't trade it for nothing but it's all part of the experience it's like you, this is once in a lifetime chance like I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fold for no heat. Fuck that shit. Gain that experience. Now have a story for the future. Be like, yeah, I grinded that shit out when I was in there. I would went through the ranks. You already know how it goes. But yeah, that's fixed this week. So I'm about to get back in there, record these last three songs. I got the single coming uh, September 2nd. And then the album is dropping October 10th. And we're recording it at Next Level Studios here in Austin, Texas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cheers. Your engineer, DJ Hazmat. I'm recording, mixing, mastering, boom, all of it. I find myself drunk again, still taking another shot again Blacked out on a scooter, feeling good and I can't hold it in Angel in the demon whisper, I know they will miss me Highway to hell, start a 666 six, 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 six. In the studio a second time this week Boom, still 90 degrees I just got uh, vocal presets um, that I'm going to try out some mastering presets um, and we're working on the single so that's what we're having to do we have to drop that single in two weeks I at least upload the single it drops in like 45 days but let's get it time to mix Bouncing out the single to the album right now. About to be crazy. It sounds incredible as fuck. Got to do a little bit of adjustments as always, but just finished bouncing, so let's find out what it sounds like. Mix four so far. Promo done by me. Uh, album artwork, fucking sick. Album name right now is Fuck You. It's not really radio appropriate so on that we might change the album name we'll see but we got the album cover solidified the skeleton flipping you off with uh like a biker vest on like you already know so it's going crazy i can't wait for this honestly it's gonna be stupid shout out to producers that's my dance to get myself motivated for work i go uh, i go uh, i go <laughs> i'm just playing I don't have a dance for real. I'm getting motivated. It is August 3rd. One more month until the first song of the punk album comes out. I've been going through it, honestly. It's been stressful lately. I've been going through some shit with my stomach. I had to go to the doctors. They told me that I had ulcers. Didn't really feel on point. I didn't really feel like I vibed with it, but I listened to them. I don't really fuck with doctors. I didn't take the prescription he gave me. I didn't do much of what he said. I just quit drinking. Stopped smoking for a couple days. It was really bad, like, I was at work and I was like, oh my God, I can't fucking move. And then I got home and I was just sitting on the ground for like fucking six, seven hours. I couldn't fucking move. My stomach was just in knots, like, it was horrible. And then my sister called, I, or I called up my sister. I was like, hey, like, this is what I'm going through. What, what's up? Like do you know anything and she's like yeah it could possibly like be weed withdrawals alcohol withdrawals so i was like fuck it might be the, it might be it because i've been like drinking for like the last year smoking for like since i was 15 or like 15 16 type shit like it's been a minute i think i'm dealing with that shit so yeah i'm just trying to cut back a little bit on drinking i really can't stop smoking right now this shit's hard as fuck but it's all right there's a breakthrough coming. My sister also got in a car accident while I was making this album. I got the call at work. She hit me up while I was there. I was like, oh, why is she calling me like so late? So I picked up and uh, she was like, yeah, we were going like 70 down the highway. It was her, her husband and her two kids. 
in the car, in the van. A 17 year old dude just blindsided him after he blew through a stop sign, fucking smoked him. Everybody was okay though. Like there was no injuries except for like seatbelt injuries. Um, to the husband's organs, but that's it. Like, they were protected as fuck. Like, they got guardian angels, they got God, they got all that, they were protected. So it was an intense moment to uh, get that call. It was a blessing that they're all okay, all alive, no injuries. They got released from the hospital that night. They got home, they were all good. Like, my original plan was to drop the whole album on October 10th for you guys. But I kind of had a revelation talking to one of the homies and then also like doing some research on YouTube. I might release this this project as singles until February where I release the whole album. Um, so every month you'll get a single, you'll get a video and you'll get the promotion for it. We're gonna run that up. We're gonna try that option now. I already released the album this year, Double Bait. So like releasing another album within months is just kind of like pointless. So I'm gonna hit you with some singles. September, October, November, December, and January. And then the album will be out in February on my birthday. There's something to look forward to. Appreciate you guys always staying tuned in, always staying elevated, always handling your own shit. I appreciate you guys. Stay up, don't destroy yourself, use your mind. Don't fuck with people that fuck with your energy.